it broke my heart that I could never do it for him. I'll never forget the day we sat on our couch in the living room and he was like, I just want to have a really honest conversation with you. And I just want you to like, tell me exactly what it is. Not this cute answer, not what you think I want to hear. None of that shit you've been telling me that you are working on it and it's just you and you in your head and all that. Like for real. And I told him the truth. It's a disconnect. Like I'm not naturally attracted to you in that way. And it's probably nothing that you can do about it. And his face, it was like, you remember Mortal Kombat when he would go in the chest and mm -hmm. snatch the heart out? That's what I felt like I did. In this whole be honest with me, I was like, the man asked me for honesty and I gave it to him, but I don't think that that's what he was thinking I was going to say. And that was pretty much the beginning of the end of our relationship. Yeah, I can imagine. Then the weird part for us, that was when the whole open relationship dynamic was introduced and almost as a means to save our relationship and in the moment I didn't think that that's what it was but I later learned that that was like last ditch effort and a really 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 bad effort because it pretty much tore us apart I wish we had never done it I don't have a lot of regrets about anything in life that's one thing I very much wish we never did it wasn't for us and that's also not something you should do to save your relationship threesomes bringing other people into your bedroom to save your relationship really 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 bad idea if it's something you all just like you think it might be sexy or cool great knock yourselves out but bringing a person in because you're trying to put a band-aid on something super bad idea mm -hmm.